welcome back to the channel um today's video i think i'm gonna do a get it all done with me i have not done one of these in a while um but basically i'm just gonna be doing some random things around the house things that i need to get done and i thought that i'd film it for you guys and give you guys some cleaning motivation and also um just kind of change it up because the stuff that i'm going to be doing today isn't going to just be like a cleaning routine or anything it's just going to be some random things that i've lacked like been slacking on that need done and we also were i was thinking about moving cole's bedroom around but we will see so if i do that i'll include it in the video but i was trying to think of a way to keep him occupied he's actually supposed to go to my grandparents house today so whenever he goes i can come back and maybe finish up doing whatever i need to do guys i hope that you guys get motivated and get some cleaning inspiration from this video and go ahead and get into it so I wasn't originally going to move Cole's room around in this video, but I'm really glad that I did because it did also make the video longer for you guys, but not only that, but it, I was actually just really unhappy with the way that his room was at this state because there just felt like there wasn't any room in it and I wanted to put it away to where there was just a lot more floor space for him to have more room to play and that kind of stuff. So, I really love how it looks now. Um, I think I did accidentally forget to show you guys <laughs> the aftermath of the room. So, that was like, uh, maybe I shouldn't say that. So, um, I wanted to show you guys what the room looked like. And Cole's currently taking a nap while I'm filming this voiceover. So, I'm going to try to put a clip of this at the end of the video of his room and how it turned out. Because I didn't get to film it on this day. But I'm going to try to add that in so you guys can see how his room turned out. But um, the way that I put the dresser in a little bit is not actually how the room end up, ends up staying. And uh, Cole's baseboards were really, really dusty. So I wanted to go ahead and clean them. And I was just using a method cleaner that I had left over. And then we're just going to vacuum along the wall. Because I actually cleaned his room a couple days ago. Like dusted it and stuff. So I just was trying to do a little bit of the extra. When I move furniture out, I like to vacuum behind it. Um, and that gets done when I, once I move like... The room's around, which you guys know I'm all the time moving stuff around because that's just what I like to do. I take a lot of pride in moving the house and home decorating and just, I love doing home de decor and just decorating and moving stuff and trying to make a change. I love doing that. It just feels refreshing and just, I like having it different. So that is what we're going to do and like I said I think I do take a Swiffer duster in a little bit and we're just going to kind of go over his dresser here because he had some just some it was kind of dusty but it wasn't that bad so I wanted to run that over that really quick and like I said the dresser does not stay in this spot I do end up moving it at the end.
room this far, I finally took out the little recliner chair that we rocked Cole in when he was a baby. I moved it to the other, to the office for right now, but I wanted to give Cole some more space in his room and that chair is always taking up so much freaking space in here. And now that he has a twin size bed, if anybody needs to sit down, they can just sit on his bed. We don't really need that chair in here. Um, it's a really cute chair, but I just don't feel like, you know, we don't need it in here anymore. So I moved it. My husband's probably not gonna like that, but I wanted to give Cole some more space in his room. It just um, always feels like there's not enough space. I don't know why, but it feels that way. So this isn't my favorite setup, of course, but I always am trying to find new ways to move his room. So, so far, like, I don't really like the dresser over here in the corner a whole bunch, but I'm just kind of working with it for now. So I wanted to recommend these toy bins for you guys, but I think I got them off Amazon and they're really, really nice for like these small little toys and you can organize them. Um, if you don't like the way that toys show, you could like buy the little bins and do it that way and do that kind of organizing, which I think looks really nice too because then you don't have to look at all the toys. But I find that this for right now works really well for Cole because that way he can see everything and he knows what he wants to get out when he wants to play with something. So I do highly recommend that. I bought that off Amazon if any of you guys are wondering. Um, and then I'm just gonna finish up with the baseboard. I wanna clean out these vents um, in a different video, but I think you guys saw back in my spring clean video if you watched those. I did clean some of my vents, but I have not got them all done, but that might be part of my fall cleaning series. I'm trying to save some stuff for fall because I want to make like fall cleaning videos and clean out my kitchen cabinets and that kind of thing. So stay tuned for that. But I had some laundry to do, so I was just trying to catch up on that today. And um, I had like a bunch of cleaning rags that I, I try to wash all my cleaning rags together. And then I just had some random laundry and stuff to do. Like I said, this video is very random, so I hope you guys don't mind. But I was just trying to, I was like, you know, I had a lot of stuff to do on this Sunday. This was the Sunday that I was doing this, just trying to get the house caught back up. Um, and like, I like to sweep my floor. Um, I don't know, every couple days now that Otis has shaved, um, it's not as bad as it was. But I still, even the cats still shed. So I just don't like hair. I don't like it because you can see it lay on the floor and I just, I get really crazy about that. So I have to keep up with my floor. So I'm gonna vacuum in today's video, but um, I'm also just gonna do this and make Cole's bed at the end. And after we get this done, I'm going to unload the dishwasher and put the dishes in the um, dishwasher and then I'm going to clean out my sink. I feel like my sink is really dirty. Does anybody else? Like, I don't know why, but my sink just always ends up gross in the kitchen. And I'm gonna use the barkeeper's friend for that when I get to that part. But for now, I'm just gonna put, this is where I store all my cleaning rags, is on this thing on the back of the door that I bought at the dollar store. I really highly recommend for organizing. It's definitely an easy and cheap way to keep everything organized. Forever, forever. Stay here forever. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Just loving this moment. Can we stay here? This is a really random shot, but I needed to make my husband some tea because he was out. My husband drinks like a full gallon of tea within like a couple days. Like it does not take long for him to go through it. He loves sweet tea. So I, I'm a coffee drinker. I love my coffee and my husband loves his sweet tea. So I wanted to make that for him on this day because he did have to work. So I went ahead and did that. And then I'm gonna just clean out the sink. Like I said, put these dishes in the dishwasher really quick and then we are going to move on to vacuuming. For 
so long I've been trying to get you out of my head Oh yeah But somehow I always seem to wake up in your bed mm -mm. Baby, if we talk for a minute Then maybe we'd be getting somewhere sheets and stuff and just some random clothes were thrown in with that that needed done and then I'm gonna um, take Cole's I was originally gonna hang Cole's blanket out on the back line in the backyard for you guys but it was actually getting ready to rain so I ended up not doing that but um, yeah so I just took it in Cole's room and started folding laundry on his bed and then I'm gonna make his bed as the last step and like I said I will throw in a clip toward the end of the video um, on how his room turned out but um, I really do like it and we also moved, I think I said already that we moved that recliner chair and now there's even more room in his room so it turned out really good. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me But this time, this time Girl I know what's bothering me I need somebody to
some clothes away and I had a bunch to put away that is for sure and I had a bunch of clothes to take to mine and my husband's room and I wanted to put those away for you guys I actually was letting my clothes pile up in my closet so it was like time to hang those up I got a little lazy when it was coming to hanging my clothes up so I wanted to do that in this video and um, the very last thing that we're gonna do in this video for the day is I'm going to be shaving Otis for you guys I shaved him in a previous video and I don't really know if that's motivating or not, but I guess in a way it kind of is because um, you can just kind of see me getting his hair all shaved off. So if you guys have animals and you want to shave them, I hope that motivates you to maybe want to do it. I don't know, but maybe you just enjoyed watching it anyways, but be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are new and if you like these motivating cleaning videos and you want to see more from me, this type of stuff, because I know a lot of you guys are here for that. Let me know and uh, be sure to leave me some comments down below. I really would love for some of you guys to leave a comment and um, let me know what you want to see from me. And I really love when you guys interact and let me know things like that so I know what you guys want to see. So I will, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. And I think I pop in toward the end of the video and the very last thing like I said I do is I'm going to make Cole's bed and I'm going to show you how his room turned out. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Somehow we got used to the problems. Baby we got used to falling. I'm tired of feeling blue when I lose myself to love. here we're both ready to go inside but I do this I don't know maybe once a month I've shaved Otis now three times so far <sighs> and it is um, I think I'm getting quicker at it every time but it still feels like it just takes forever to shave him I'll show you guys the, af the aftermath I swept it off the porch over here but it's just like little clumps the first time I shaved him there was way more hair than this but um, shaving him also helps us look for ticks on him if he goes in the weeds and gets ticks. Um, the shorter her hair, the shorter his hair, like the better it is. And then the flea problem isn't as bad either that way. But um, any of you guys that might be new here, I shave my dog 
during the summer months because um, of the dog hair. His hair is really um, medium length and pretty long because he is half golden retriever. He sheds really bad and I just like him being shaved in the warm months to help me from vacuuming the house every freaking day. It helps a lot. So, um, and plus, I think it keeps him cool out here when it's really, really hot. So, that is why I shave my dog. One step forward, two steps backwards, yeah. And much your lover who don't use big words, yeah. Convincing at all because I know what I want Baby, can't you figure it out? What's going on in your heart? What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? What's it gonna take for you to show, take for you to show feels, yeah. I've been trying to take it slow, but my patience low Think it's time you let me know Take for you to love me 